faced two contrasting styles in UAB and Davidson last weekend in winning the tournament in Asheville. First game for both teams since last Sunday. And off the opening tip. Tiger team coming into this ball game, averaging 74 points a contest, giving up about 67. Shefflin from the outside. First points of the game for the junior from just outside of Atlanta. Tigers haven't played all that many Mountain West Conference teams over the years. Gerard kicks it to Hunter. Chase Hunter feeling it from the outside. It'll go as a long two. Clark looking low. Hall defended by Martin. 6-9 on 6-10. And P.J. Hall couldn't get the right roll. With that second straight NCAA tourney trip, 51 wins in the past two seasons. With a team based in Idaho's state capital, first bucket of the game. Cam Martin, seven and a half, playing his third game for Boise State. Hunter emphatically oh, wow. welcomes the Broncos south. Whiting, backup point guard into the game. Rice spins and forces. Good defense by Gerard. And the Tigers want to attack the rim today. Boise State does a great job staying home with shooters on the perimeter to take away threes. Tigers want to play at the rim. Hunter. Martin played it. Kansas among his college stops. Abo. Shibuzo Abo began his career at Texas Tech. Second year in their program. A guy who's really picked his game up scoring-wise. They did a summer trip to Canada. Guy whose role will increase this season with Boise State. Dylan Hunter into the game for Clemson. Gerard. Now Hunter from the wing. He sparked the Tigers in the second half against Davidson. He made the first three of the second half and really kind of got them going to get back in the game. Abo on the left wing. Tyson Dagenhart. Paul defending out high. That's another one of their newcomers, Omar Stanley, a St. John's transfer. Abo from the right corner this time. And the first lead for Boise State. Boise State has played on an ACC floor before at NC State a few years back. Hall gets that one to go down. Outstanding job catching it. P.J. gets to his left shoulder, able to knock down the jump hook. Nice reverse inside in traffic. And a great job by Roddy Anderson to get in the paint right there, dump it down to Stanley for an easy layup. Hemingway to Wiggins. Tigers feeling it from long range. I heard Brad Brown L pregame talk about how they may see some 1-3-1. One, one. Boss lighted just on the floor, gave it to Hunter, who gives to Wiggins. Martin looking baseline. Strong move with the lefty hook over Lida. No, but the rebound pulled down by Keane. And there's Gerard. And obviously all that on his resume, but he takes pride in the D as well. Also trying to attack the basket, and he does. Working inside. Martin leads them in rebounds. Scored about eight points in his first two games apiece. That time Hall with a nice defense. P.J. came in, leading the team with six blocks. Josh Beadle on the floor. Hunter. Another burst of speed to the basket. Finger roll goes and he'll head to the line. Josh Beadle gave the Tigers a huge lift on Sunday off the bench against Davidson. By P.J. Hall defending Cam Martin in the post. Plays without fouling. And then as we met Tiger Big stepping out, trying to extend some of these catches from the Broncos. Try to push their offense out just a little bit. Rice drives on Gerard. Can't hit the pull-up. Clemson looking to build on its largest lead so far. In transition, Beadle, Stanley defends. Beadle reverses. Yeah, for the Tigers. Right here driving it to his left. Takes it to the other side of the rim to, against the shot block. Second team all Mountain West a season ago. And he brings the Broncos back within seven. Coach Rice talked about how proud he was of how his son blends in. Whiting, a sophomore, did a Mormon mission to Finland after his High school career is a little bit older than your typical sophomore. That's going to go down from the outside. Outstanding driving kick right here. Abo knocks down his third three. Tigers led by nine moments ago, trying to build on this three-point lead. Gerard off the pump fake. Inside, Godfrey. And right back up with it. And we see the Broncos bring a double on P.J. Hall for the first time today. Martin, 6'9", likes to shoot. Wiggins defended by the freshman Andrew Meadow, and he goes right over top. Abo already his eighth double-figure scoring game since he arrived at Boise State from Texas Tech last year. Martin, the throwdown, and one. Godfrey picks up the foul. Scout was don't let him get to his left. He turns the other way, finishes at the rim, an outstanding play. 
Wiggins and Godfrey out high. Hunter gets it back behind a screen from Shefflin. Knocks down his first three attempt, 33% on the year. Anderson drives past Shefflin. Nice move. Led all freshmen in that league at 15.8 points per game last season. Wiggins thought about it. Goes around Abo. And Godfrey there to finish. Trying to get a win on an ACC floor. They're 6 and 1 since 2022 2023 against P5 schools. The Broncos will play anyone, anywhere. When you Bills watch on him, his points total, he's got 13 to lead all scorers. And when you watch him, he reminds you of what in the NBA, what they would call a 3 and D type guy. Can make an open three, obviously can play at the rim, but an outstanding defender. 57% beyond the arc. The lead, though, just a mere three. Off the inbound. Gerard, such a soft touch. Outstanding finisher around the rim. Joe Gerard, just a small stat. And if you follow Clemson, you probably can get an idea as to where that little nugget was dropped in from to our booth. Call, foul trouble. Put him on. And Coach Leon Rice is going to start Omar Stanley here in the second half. Bring Tyson Dagenhart off the bench. Martin feeding, drive to the basket. Stanley, the St. John transfer, has a chance to tie us up. Is it right there on the rim? Cam Martin is an outstanding passer for the Broncos. Just two points so far, of course, came in averaging over 21 a game. Clark, losing Abo, knocks down the long two. Anderson tries to step through off balance. Boy, that would have been a fabulous finish. P.J. 40% beyond the arc so far. Rice, second team, all Mountain West performer, able to drain the tray. With about six and a half to play in the opening half, I thought he'd only picked up his second. And I have a feeling they modified that in the box score afterward. Gerard, his kind of shot. Anderson will set things up. Shot clock coming up on five. Anderson doesn't have the size on Godfrey. Baseline, and Keene couldn't save it for his team. Turnover inside, Godfrey was trying to go strong to the hole. Tigers led by as many as nine in the opening half. Dagenhardt has not been a factor for Boise State, and that's going to change. Dylan Hunter. Now Godfrey down low. Gerard trying to lose the defender, Rice. Finishing as Rice hit the deck. Back out to an eight-point lead. Martin, light of defense. Soft touch gets the roll. Much needed basket from Cam Martin there. Broncos second player in double figures. Martin now has 10. He's four of six from the field. Clark, difficult shot with a hand in his face from Dagenhart. Boise State on the run. Clark repays the debt. Wonderful job by the NC State transfer. His second steal is a Tiger. Here's Gerard. Dagenhart offensive glass. Whiting out front. That would have been big. For the Broncos, psyche of nothing else. Tigers a chance for a 10-point lead. Hunter delivers. Three-time All-American, three-time academic All-American, wins a national championship at Kansas, and now gets to complete his career at a really good Boise State. That's an outstanding story, and he's going to have an outstanding season. That's a big plus for the Tigers. Alex has been hurt early in the preseason. He's starting to get into a rhythm now. Dagan Hart has been contained once again. Godfrey and Shefflin. Rice, shot clock at 10. Stanley looks low for Dagenhart. Heads to the basket. Change hands in the air, kind of threw it down toward the hoop. Omar Stanley, one-on-one -on -one in the post. That ended a better than three-minute scoring drought for the Broncos. Off the dribble, Gerard. Pretty stuff. Stanley. Rice, as Gerard hit the floor. Won't go down, though. Coach Brownell slowing the Tigers down just a little bit. He wants to get a good possession here. Wants to see him execute. Gerard for two. He is a very popular guy in Boise, Idaho. Tigers extending a three-point advantage at the break. Now to as many as 18 here in the second half. Gerard, the guy you want to have the ball. Hall back in the game. Be able to get the shot that he wanted. They're able to get it right there inside. P.J. Hall puts it off the glass. A fourth personal call. Godfrey helping out. Rice off one foot. Max Rice is a very good scorer. Tigers, though, maintain a 16-point lead. Coming up on seven to play. Hall inside over Martin. And one. But he's got a lot of game. 
He does. He's very crafty with the basketball. He's an outstanding passer. <laughs> and there's some game, too. And he's Different good size, well. same effectiveness. Clark picked up his second foul, by the way. Just the fifth of the Tigers here was coming up on five and a half to go in the second. But going to be very good for Coach Rice throughout the season. Tigers have broken this game open on five of their last six. Pretty move, Hunter. And just as nice of a finish. Chase Hunter has been outstanding on the bounce for the Tigers. He continues to attack the rim. Martin drives on Hall. Little contact. And Hall with a glance to the closest official. A lot of weapons for the Tigers. Not that time for Gerard. Now two of five on three-point attempts. Boise State trying for a late run. Dagenhard past Hall, then Shefflin with a team that traveled the farthest as Keene can't get it to go. Rebound, Martin. Traveled the farthest of any regular season opponent and play those two, and then that might be an opportunity to add another game on that trip just to get value out of the trip. Boy, Keene went for the slam. Hunter rejected. In the first half, now he's going to rotate over right here and block this dunk at the rim. But the story of this game is from the Tigers' half-court defense in the second half. Another for Gerard. Tigers about to improve to 4-0. Backdoor pass executed beautifully, and the foul is called. Boise State had been outstanding in three-point field goal defense. Clemson is able to make eight today. That's kind of what created the separation and gave the Tigers space to operate today. Wiggins gets his. Great response today by Chauncey Wiggins. Comes off the bench for the first time this season. Adds nine points for the Tigers. Whiting on the crossover. Nice move. Tigers 4-0 as they get ready for a visit from the Braves of Alcorn State on Friday at 8 p.m. Women's team gets ready to take on Longwood near the bottom of the hour.